first of all, thank you to SAMHSA for the invitation. Um, it was a, a a big task that they were given for today, and and I think we all knew that we couldn't solve it in one day. But we've had some good discussions um, from the industry, from the mineral council, from ship owners, and also other government institutions. And I think for me, the takeaway is that. This, there's a lot to do. The, the regulation side uh, needs to change a bit um, to facilitate ship ownership in South Africa. Um, but the main drivers, there's two main drivers, it's the cargo and the, and the funding side. So yes, the Mineral Council is willing to talk and we're going to be engaging on that in terms of getting the cargo. I mean, um, over four, 300 million tons leaves our country. Um, Live mostly on furniture, so that's an easy, um, um, low-hanging fruit that we can take and say the cargo must move on local ships. And and once we've won those challenges, won those discussions, then we need to start talking to the banks and the DFIs on how to fund ship ownership because. Uh, like I said, as much as we can have cargo, um, we know a lot of traders. A lot of traders have access to cargoes, but they can't own ships because then the funding becomes a matter. So it's both sides, cargo and funding side. And if we can just bridge those gaps, I think we'll start seeing um, more fleet in, the, in South Africa. Thank you very much.